So we have this formula of the displacement against time in an SHM. Now what we want to do now is we want to try and see what's the relationship between velocity and time. And so remember that velocity is simply dx dt. And so if I perform this differentiation, omega will come out. So we'll get omega x naught sine becomes cosine omega t. Now, this formula yeah, is nice. We don't use this very often. But it turns out that if I combine these two expressions for x and v, I can get a nice little mathematical expression that looks something like this. The velocity of an object in SHM equals to plus minus omega square root amplitude squared minus x squared. And this is a very important relationship between velocity and displacement. So for any given displacement x from equilibrium, I can find the velocity of my object using this formula. So there are some very interesting results of this. Uh, first of all, notice that Remember, or rather should I say, remember that at equilibrium, we are aware that, of course, x equals to zero. And so if we sub this value into this formula, all right, you'll be able to get an expression for the maximum speed because the speed is always maximum at equilibrium. And so if we do that, v equals to plus minus omega x naught. And so that's the maximum speed formula of an object in SHM. Okay, and also if we plot the graph for this, uh, we'll get something quite pretty. Vx, this will be an ellipse. And so that looks something like this. Okay, and so of course, over here we have omega x naught. We have minus omega x naught. And this is the amplitude. This is the negative amplitude. Very nice. Okay, just one last point to highlight. Okay, the plus minus sign here, what's the significance of that? That simply means that at any given displacement x, your v can be either going in one way or the other, which is absolutely true for an object in SHM.